What's up guys? It's Julie from the Dang It Fam here. I'm back with another video. I know I've been away for a long, long time. I haven't really made any videos or posted anything in a very long time. Um, I hope everybody is still doing well and staying safe in the middle of this ongoing pandemic. Um, I can't believe that, you know, it's been over a year and a half, if not more, and we're still in the middle of this pandemic. But anyway, I hope that everybody is staying safe and you're all doing well. Today, I'm just here for a quick unboxing of some goodies that I got from the Gucci store. Actually, two items. I just got back from the Gucci store, um, the Gucci boutique, and so I'm really excited to open them. I haven't even like looked at them or opened them since I got home, so let's just get started. So here's the first item. As you can tell, it's a, it's a smaller item. So let's just get this out. <clears throat> let's see, I'll put this here. This is what it looks like in the box. It's really nice. So excited. Here's the, um, oh, this is, is the, um, the receipt. So I don't know if you can see that. Let's just go ahead and unbox this. It's a smaller item. It is the... It is the um, medium size Ophidia. I think, um, yeah, it's the medium size Ophidia um, cosmetic pouch. That's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, I think it might stand up. It might be easier. Let me pull this a little closer to me. Hopefully, you can see that better. Whoops. That's what it looks like. In the box. And then. I'm excited and here she is I love her it's the Ophidia medium cosmetic case cosmetic bag so that's what it looks like on all sides I might just pull it just a tad closer there you go Here's the, the little dust bag that came with it. I guess it still has the little um, like plastic on it, but so let's open it up and take a look inside. All the stuffing. I'm gonna try to get this. Oh my goodness, they stuffed it really well. Well, anyway, here's here's all the all the little. Um, pamphlets and tags. So let's, oh my gosh, they have this stuff. <laughs> okay, got that out. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty simple. Oh, it's really dark. I don't think you can see, but it's just a, um, maybe you can see there. It's just, it's just one in case there's no other like little pockets or anything like that. I'm so sorry. I can't, I don't think you can see it real well. There you go. There you go. You can see a little bit better right there. So that's, that's really all that's to it. Um, but I really, really love it. It's a little smaller than the Louis Vuitton, um, cos cosmetic case, the smaller of the two cosmetic cases um so it's a little smaller but it's you know it has that sort of that vintage vibe and it's i think it's a good size it's not too small and it's not um too big and it's just i think it's just really pretty okay so that's the first item just put that back in and the second one move all this out out of the way is this guy which you can clearly see is much bigger let's get that out oh my goodness let's see here we go so what that looks like and I guess this is the the receipt as well um so that's the receipt for 
this. So this is the box. So this is a bigger one. So I'm going to move this back a little bit. Hopefully you can still see it. Yeah. So let's get into this and see. I did a good job wrapping these. So Up. This place is always do such a great job, such a nice job of wrapping these things. There she is. I'll just show you real quickly how it's packaged. I almost don't want to mess it up. All right, the box out of the way. All right. Okay, sorry. So here's the dust bag. It's another Ophidia um, piece. It's the um, Ophidia GG medium size, medium tote. So it's gonna have that same look as that as that cosmetic pouch just now. And I like it because it's that sort of that vintage um, red and green and, and the uh, vintage print. It's so nice, you guys. Here's the front, they put it in the wrong way, but here's the the front. So here she is. So beautiful. That's what the front looks like. The back. Sides. So let me get this out of the way. So I like this one because like the handles, unlike the Neverfull that, you know, sort of always wants to stand up like this, these handles, just, they just go down like this when you, when you drop them. So I really, really like that. There's a um, magnetic closure. So um, unlike the Neverfull, which has that kind of that hook deal, where it's kind of a pain to, to hook and unhook. This one has a, um, a, a magnetic, hear that? It's pretty strong magnetic, see? So yeah, so that's, that's the inside with the stuffing and then we'll get the stuffing out. Let's see, and yeah, this is what it looks like inside it's a um what's it called Mi micro fiber uh lining but it you know it's very suede like it has a very suede like feel there's one zippered pocket right here and this is a, a good size pocket you guys oh there's all the um yeah, there's all the tags and uh, booklets and tags and what have you. Okay, so there's there's one zippered pocket, which is pretty big to me. It almost it's almost like feels kind of bigger than the um, the one in the Neverfull. And then there's another like a um, slip pocket right there. 
and then there's this, it's just, it's just like any tote really. It's just a big old open pit. And again, it's magnetic closure. And so that's what it looks like kind of closed up. I love it. Oh my God. It smells good. I know that's weird, but it smells really, really good. Um, so this is all leather trim here. And then this is a canvas, um, the ca canvas print, and then the, the, the classic vintage um, Gucci stripes. So that's it. That's just a quick unboxing. Just wanted to show you the my new goodies. Oh, and real quickly, I guess I can let me show you. So this is this was a cosmetic um, case, right? So that's a really pretty match. And so just so you can get a sense of like the sizing of the case. So this is what it would look like inside. There's a lot of room in there, right? And you can even like. I was gonna say you can, so you can get a sense of like the size and how much room there is. So, I actually, I'm gonna plan to use this with a, um, a purse organizer. It's the same kind that I um, put in my. It's the same kind that I I put in my um, Neverfulls. I I actually had another video where I did a a, um, a, a comparison. So it's the exact same organizer. This is from Purse Bling, PurseBling.com. So the other video I have on the channel is this same one. I did a comparison of this smaller one um, to the, the larger one. I forget what the sizes are now. I think one is like called a jumbo and then the other one is a extra jumbo. Um, this is the equivalent to, I think the jumbo and just in the lighter color. So I think that's going to be a really nice match. Um, so I'll, let me just put it in and see. Yeah, see the color? I mean, it's not an exact match, but that's pretty darn close. And this is like a cream, I think. So um, yeah, so here's the front. And so I'll just put it in and see what it looks like inside. Oh, that's a perfect fit. See? And again, this one has a zipper. Not like this one you really need a zipper because it does have sort of that magnetic closure that kind of gives you a little bit of security, but if you really wanted it to really be closed with all your items in there, you could certainly get, get an organizer like this. And so see, when it's all zipped up, all your stuff is, is in your organizer zipped up and you can see there's still plenty of room <clears throat> to put more stuff on the sides if you wanted to. So maybe I'll do, a, um, a video to just kind of show you what's in my bag or, you know, what fits if, uh, you know, if you have the Neverfull or, um, other totes, I have like a, a couple Tory Burch totes and I have a, um, like two, three Neverfulls. They're all the same pretty much as this. That's, it's the same look, the same, um, you know, functionality. I mean, it's a tote, right? It's a classic tote. Um, and they're very comparable. This, this tote from Gucci is very comparable or comparable to the um, Louis Vuitton Neverfull in MM. Um, and so I don't have my Neverfull with me, but maybe I'll, do, I'll bring that one in for the, the other video that I might, might end up doing um, on like what fits in this bag. And, maybe just show you like transfer stuff from my never full into here or from one of my other um, totes into here. But yeah, so it looks really comparable in size, certainly in the way that it looks. Um, and yeah, I'm just really, really um, glad and, and grateful and thankful that I, I was able to get this. And um, yeah, so I'll, maybe I'll come back with another video again to show you kind of what fits in all of that if there's something else specific that i didn't show in this unboxing about the bag that you might want to see just drop me a note in the comments or send me an email i'll put all that information in the in the um description in the video description
Okay, so let me take this out <clears throat> once again. You know, and I never did like a um, an unboxing of my Neverfulls because there's like a ton of them out there. There's a, just a ton of them out there on YouTube. Um, and when I was like interested in getting this, I started looking around and trying to find videos and you know, there's, there's some out there, but not in, you know, in the, the amount of videos that you can find on a Neverfull, like an unboxing on the Neverfull or, or whatever it is. Um, it seems like everybody has, you know, the Neverfull. And so there's just a lot of videos out there about that, but there's not quite as many on, on this particular tote. So that's why I thought, you know, I'll just come out here and do an unboxing and, um, you know, maybe follow up, like I said, with a couple more videos. But I always found, I found it helpful to, to look at the, to see the videos before I went today to pick this up. So hopefully this is helpful for anybody who might be looking at this and might, you know, be like eyeballing it and wanting to get it. I love it. I've been like, it's been on my list for like about a year. Um, it, it, the Ophidia MM, I'm sorry, the Ophidia GG medium tote was in a different print. Um, it had this can this exact canvas, but it didn't have this vintage um, red and green um, on it at all. And so I was tempted to get that. I almost got it and I didn't. And then, um, so I waited, you know, and then the pandemic hit. And so I, I waited and I'm, I'm kind of glad I did because this gives me more of that vintage vibe and it's just like, it just looks classic, um, classic Gucci vibe. So I really, really like it. Anyway, that's it for today. Just wanted to come in and again, do a quick unboxing. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything in particular you, you want to see, um, or if you have any questions about this or anything, you know, you want to, you want me to do in terms of like maybe comparing this to the Neverfull. All right, that's it. I hope, um, again, everybody stays safe and is um, doing well and, and stays healthy. And I'll um, see you in the next video. Take care.